So, what's the everyday food choices over there in Colombia, man? Is it really nice food? How is it? Dude, the food, actually, <laughs> surprisingly, the food is better than America. I'm not even going to lie to you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And it's crazy, right? So, I came back to the States um, in November, and I was there for about two months. So, I was there from November to January, and I just came back to Colombia about a month and a half ago. And it was so crazy tasting the difference in food after being out of the country and coming back. Half the things in the States taste so processed, like artificial, just like just injected with hormones and shit, bro. It's it's insane. Like, I couldn't believe it. Like, I'll give you an example. Right. So in Colombia, you know, sometimes I'll eat a fast food like a Burger King or something, whatever. Right. Just. If I'm in a pinch and I'm really like, you know what? A burger from Burger King sounds great, even though they have much, much better burger choices here. But, you know, I've had Burger King a handful of times while I was here. Had a Whopper, you know, it's pretty good. I was like, all right, solid, you know, 7.5, 8 out of 10, cool, solid Whopper. Go back to the States, order the exact same fucking thing. Get a Whopper. I remember I took one bite out of my burger, and I literally sat there, I looked at this thing, and I said... <laughs> why does this taste so artificial <laughs> i couldn't believe it i don't even think i finished it i was like bro this is horrible and normally i finish all my food that i eat i'm like you know i get what i want i'm, I'm if i'm gonna have a burger i'm gonna bust it down it's gonna be great but i just couldn't believe it um so i think yeah the food in colombia is like way fresher like they use like real ingredients you know they're not the food isn't as processed and the food selection here is actually, actually, it's insane what they have here. I mean, I've had things from like burgers, they have amazing pizza here, they have amazing like traditional Colombian food. I'm actually not really a big fan of the traditional stuff, but in terms of like Americanized food, the burgers here are literally out of this world. They're so good. The meat is so fresh. Like you can just taste like the cow. It's so real, you know? <laughs> what else can I say? They have this place in Medellin, actually. I took one of my buddies here when he was visiting. It's called Andres Carnes de Res, which means just Andres, like, meat spot, right? And it's like this big, huge, huge restaurant. Apparently, it's like a chain that came out of Bogota. But some people have told me that it's a Michelin star rated restaurant. And I was like, you know what? It's a Friday night. Let me go take my boy there. Let's go have a good time. So we go there, we have a little appetizer, cool, cool, cool. And then we ordered the filet mignon. And the filet mignon, it came out with two pieces of filet mignon wrapped in bacon with like this sauteed, like mushroom kind of sauce, right? When I tell you this was the best fucking steak I've ever had in my life, <laughs> let me tell you, this was literally like finger licking. Every bite was so, so good. And you know how much it cost? man five dollars no okay it's not that cheap but <laughs> it's fifteen dollars oh that's way better than the states though yeah i mean i've i've been to places like there's a place to, where i kind of grew up in it's called okeechobee steakhouse very famous steakhouse i remember i had like the prime rib there once in the filet and it cost like 80 90 100 bucks and mm. and it's good it's like really good stuff but to go to Colombia and you have something that's like one notch better, literally 11 out of 10 steak for $15. I'm like, come on, man. I ain't coming home. What the hell? <laughs> it's too good. Bro, making America sound horrible. I mean, look, bro, America is not bad. Like, America has amazing opportunities. But once you leave and you come back, you'll realize, like, damn. It really isn't that great. <laughs> like, like, I'm American. I grew up half my life in the States. Like, I've been out here. I've talked to thousands of girls. I've dated, you know, tons of fucking girls. I've eaten at tons of restaurants. I've had tons of crazy experiences. And just seeing the contrast between the two places, man, it's like, hey, look, I'll come back to see my friends and family. But I'm staying, you know, outside of the States for the majority of my life now. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs>